Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be sharing one of the biggest things that hurt and helped my photography growth. Just like everyone else, when I first started photography, there were a lot of photographers I looked up to, and one of the main ones was Brian Eslava, and I still love his work. I love the way his photos and edits look, so I used to try to shoot and edit like him, and when I couldn't get my photos to look exactly like his, I would get so frustrated and think my photos weren't good. It would hurt my self-esteem as a photographer and it also stopped me from creating and developing my own style, but it also had a huge benefit to my growth. There's a couple good things that I did end up getting from this experience and process, and one of those things is that I ended up shooting a lot more, which helped me get comfortable with my camera. The second thing is I also ended up spending a lot more time on Photoshop, which helped me get familiar with that application. And the third thing is I ended up learning how to add grain to my photos, which is something that I really love from Brian's photos. And then two years ago, I finally got Lightroom and I actually prefer to use Lightroom when I add grain to my photos because it's super simple to stylize it to your preference. Once you're in Lightroom, scroll down until you get to the grain adjustment and then slide it to the right. And once you start sliding it, you guys can see that we're getting grain in our photo and it looks really nice. Another thing you guys can do to make the grain more noticeable is make the size bigger and move it until you find a sweet spot that you guys like and to me this looks pretty cool and it gives it a grungier look. If you guys are just starting off with photography and you find yourself in a similar situation where you're trying to replicate another photographer's work, at first I don't think that's a bad thing and I actually think it's a really good learning experience. I think it's really good because you're trying to problem solve with photography and see what you guys can do to get that similar effect or edit. Another reason why I think it's really good is because you guys are admiring somebody's work for a reason and you gotta ask yourself why that is. Whether it's the colors, the outfits, the posing, the lighting, the background, what is it about that photo that you guys like and then try to add it to your style. The third reason why I think it's really good to look at other photographers work is because we can really learn from the angles they're taking their photos from. For example, from my own experience, there's this photo of Ricky that I really liked that was taken on a high angle that showcases her outfit really well. I remember there was this one situation when I was shooting that I did not want to get the blue sky in the background and I ended up getting this high angle and I asked the model if she could do a similar pose to this and that's because I wanted to get more of the red complementary colors in the background which I thought looked really good. So yes, don't feel afraid to stay inspired and learn from other people and then add it to your own style. That's it for today's video. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Alright, peace.